What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are doing fantastic today. We have an exciting unboxing plan for you guys. Even more exciting, we are officially using the brand new camera for the channel, and we got the audio hooked up. The video is going to be getting played with until I can get it nailed down. For right now, we're using auto features until I can get things nailed down. It is Monday, so I went with some micarta today. Got the Christensen Knife Works, Maverick S, the Pena X Series Apache Kickstop. They go very, very well together. Love both these guys. And I carried my Shadowborn Hanks EMP EDC pouch today. So, this guy does come from Amazon, as you can see here. And it's been a little while since I've actually gotten something from this particular company. Now, I have gotten quite a few things from their sister company though, CJRB, but this one caught my eye and I wasn't sure about getting it, but after watching some other videos on it after talking with some people i had to get my hands on it and give it a shot so you do have a two-stage box with a pull-off top there and then you get artisan cutlery's really nice pull string pouch here and then you get your coa card and a silica packet is in there as well we'll move that stuff out of the way here You'll have to let me know how the video quality is, how the audio is. Uh, there will be tweaks coming uh, as I continue on, as always. So what we have here, guys, is the Artisan Cutlery Accelerator. And I love what Artisan Cutlery, CJRB, have been doing the last year or so. And it's actually been a little bit longer. Right about when the original Pyrite came out, they just started tearing up the models. They have been doing a fantastic job coming out with new models, upgrading other models. And this is a brand spanking new model from Artisan Cutlery. You got double black micarta scales. You have a titanium pocket clip, and I'm not, I think that's an aluminum backspacer with an integrated lanyard hole there. You do have an anodized collar there. I believe that's brass anodizing there. And then I opted for the DLC coated blade. It's usually about five to ten dollars more than the uncoated, but they were having a sale. Artisan Cutlery sells direct through Amazon and they were having a sale on this particular model and it actually took the price down lower than the uncoated. So it was kind of a winner winner chicken dinner thing. Look at that blade guys. Oh, that is sweet. So this year I've really been into the harpoon style blades. I have acquired several of them this year that have like a harpoon style and i really like that design feature uh i like it when things are different when things just don't look the same as every other knife for instance the emp edc ronin is coming out this weekend this coming weekend and i am going to snag it it's unique it's a Tanto, got all kinds of cool milling done. I am thrilled because it's such a different looking knife. It does, there's nothing else that looks quite like that knife. And I'm just stoked to get it and check it out. And that's kind of what brought me to this knife is it's very, very unique looking. You have a nice slender handle that gets gradually thicker. And you have the ability to be choked way back for some extended reach. You also have the ability 
to climb way up here behind the blade put your thumb in there behind the harpoon that gives you a lot of added control they give you a nice amount of access to that liner lock and they did put a nice nice chamfer on there outstanding job nice sharpening choil there you can see a little bit of oil leaking out so they did oil these before they were sent out the detent is dialed nice and stout for that big blade and of course that big blade is going to just fall home it's nice and hydraulic it's not that loosey goosey type of drop drops to your thumb nice little close yes artisan cutlery is money when they come out with i mean all the way back to the arion uh artisan cutlery is money but they just don't typically put out a lot of new designs and i think they are in the process of really changing that because as far as CJRB goes, they are just coming with the models. I mean, every month they're releasing some new models, it feels like. Artisan has been releasing some new stuff as well. And Artisan is weirdly not much more. They're, they're, they're really tinkering in the CJRB level of pricing it's really weird and then they have some cjrbs that go up into what you th would think would be artisan cutlery so i really don't get you know maybe they should just rebrand and just go with artisan cutlery everything you know or cjrb everything uh you know and just be done with it have budget models have middle of the road models and you know kind of like kaiser does Kubi. Uh, there's nothing wrong with just having one name and having a bunch of price ranges under that one name. Uh, what I what Savivi Senka We is doing, I I'm just not the biggest fan of that whole notion, that whole idea. Having three companies under the same roof, you know, just stick with one name. And just come out with a bunch of knives. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so that's my opinion. It works for them. You know. So it is what it is. But either way they would sell their knives. If they were all branded Wii knives. They would be fine. So that's just my two cents. But aesthetically guys. This thing is phenomenal. Now you will have to like. A little bit of a bigger knife. Uh, because we'll do a quick, this is just a first impressions unboxing guys. Of course, we will definitely do a full in-depth overview and review. This bad boy is all but nine inches. So, and then you got whew, three and seven eighths almost to here. And then if you go here, you're talking four and a half here. So you won't really do that though. So you're talking an almost four inch blade and an almost five inch handle. This thing is a beast. Let's get the Vostid Gator out once. So here's the Vostid Gator and by no means is this a small knife, but So you do have a little bit more handle with the Gator, but you have a little bit more blade length with the Accelerator, which is interesting. I guess they could be just a touch. They are very similar. So if you have a Gator, but you do not have the Accelerator or vice versa, they are very similar in size. Of course, very different blade shapes. You have a straight Warncliffe here. And then this is a drop point with a nice, nice big belly. You have coated AR RPM9, Artisan's Proprietary Steel, uh, which is 
a very, you know, well-rounded steel for the most part, especially for the price range, uh, which usually 50 to 100 bucks or so is what that steel falls under. What I won't mind them doing is keeping their AR PM9, but start dabbling in some 14C, some 154, you know, S30 or S35, just to, because they do it. They they have models in S35. So would I have loved to seen this at 120, 130 for, with S35? You bet your ass that would have been sweet. Uh, but the AR PM9 has proven itself to me to be a tough steel, very corrosion resistant, especially with the coatings that they are putting on these guys. And the edge retention for the price range, you know, for a more budget ended approach on a steel. You know, I think it holds up pretty well. I've had some people, a few people say they weren't impressed with the edge retention, but you can't compare RPM9 to 20CV. You know, you, you, you can't compare it to K390. You just can't do that. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to do that. Uh, but in its own right, in its class, as a powdered steel, I think it performs very well, and I'm not the only one who thinks that. There are many, many uh, content creators, you know, uh, just knife enthusiasts that all agree that ARPM9 is a great steel. Uh, so if you, that's something that you're looking at, I would have no fear of picking up. You know, the Pyrite, the Pyrite Warney, the Echo, the Accelerator. I would have no qualms about picking one of these up. You will have no issues. You will be very, very thrilled with this knife uh, and the blade steel. I was thinking of... We'll just cut this guy up. Let's just see how that edge came. Now, this is a little thicker business type card, but making quick work of that. Look at that. Yes, this thing is hair whittling sharp. How's that belly? Yes, that is nice. Look at that. That's on the belly. That is sweet. That is awesome. And I have no issues with the coatings. Um, I know they're going to get marred up. You know, they might get scratched up. They're going to get wear on them. Uh, but I, you know... And don't get me wrong, I love a machine satin, a hand rub satin. You know, I love uncoated. I like stone washed. But I really like coated blades. They offer a lot of corrosion resistance, you know. So I, I just have become a big fan of coatings. I've always liked them, but even more nowadays... They offer the benefit of having some very good corrosion resistance. Even on a steel, that is not very corrosion resistant. You put a nice coating on M4 or some of these steels that are not very uh, corrosion resistant, it's going to do very well. That's why I love coated M4 and that you know, that line of steel with coatings on it, crew wear, uh, because it is a phenomenal steel. That coating takes care of that worry, and then you have all the toughness and edge retention that you would normally have with some added corrosion resistance benefits. I love coatings. Uh, and if you use your stuff, 
It don't matter if you have a machine satin, a hand rub satin, a stone wash. Uh, they're all going to get marred up, scratched up. A stone wash, of course, will show that wear the least. Or a black stone wash, like a black wash. That's probably the best for not showing wear between that and a stone wash. But these good PVD DLC style coatings, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, that'll wrap it up for this one, guys. The action is phenomenal. Aesthetics are great. The build is great. Materials are great. The micarta is very well finished. There is no milling. Uh, it doesn't need it. It's a little heavier, but, you know, it's supposed to be. It's nine inches long. So, I think it's a great size. I'm excited to get this in the pocket and carry it. And we'll do a overview in a different video. We'll do a review in a different video. And we'll do a disassembly of this guy as well. It's been a while since I've been in an artisan. So we'll do a disassembly of this guy for sure. Let me know what you guys think of this guy. Let me know if the audio is good. The video quality is all good. Like I said, there will be changes coming. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you want to check out some more content from old G-Ball, I will throw up two recent videos. If you have not checked them out, highly recommend checking them out. If you are new and not subscribed, Click that G-Ball Vision logo there in the center of your screen. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.